The result means Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has now won 13 out of 16 games since taking the reins in December. United's expensively assembled squad appeared to have downed tools in the latter days of Jose Mourinho's tenure. But according to former Premier League star Stephen Warnock, the Norwegian has told the team they will be rewarded at the end of the season if they perform now. I enjoy listening to him. I enjoy watching his interviews, how he speaks about everything that goes on," he told BBC Radio 5 Live's Football Daily podcast. What the big thing is, is that he knows he's been given an opportunity himself, and he passes that on to others, as if to say, I've been given an opportunity here, I'm gonna give you opportunities as well. Reward me and we'll both get rewarded at the end of this. There's still a big decisions to be made at the end of the season. Is he the right man? Can he go out and buy the right players within the transfer window? But the one thing is he gets Manchester United and they get him as well and it's a great relationship. I was one of the ones, and I'll hold my hands up, when he got appointed I thought it was a poor appointment because I thought you've got to put someone in place now to take the club forward and not let it, as in his words, go like Liverpool did in the last few years. And he's just proved myself and many others wrong in the way he's approached it. And the fans will be disappointed if he doesn't get the job. Every game that he's gone into, bar the Paris Saint-Germain game, in which he was actually halted by a couple of injuries to Jesse Lingard and Anthony Marshall, he's got everything right. Speaking after today's clash, Solskjaer hailed the old Trafford faithful but claimed his side lacked class against the Saints. I have been part of so many games like this, towards the Stratford and in the second half, he told Sky Sports. That Stratford end will always suck a ball into the net for you. That is the best place to score a winner. We had character and belief more than quality. We lacked a bit of class, we should have been 2-0 up after 5 minutes. But we have three points and we are happy. They had two unbelievable strikes and we got a sucker punch at 2-2. It was a great response. We know the character and personality is there, so is the crowd. We are three points behind Tottenham now, the last nine games will be very exciting. I have decided that, as long as I am here I am going to enjoy every single second. I am so happy for the players 